Now what I want to do is perform a bevel on some of the edges of this shape. And what that will do is make it look a little bit more visually interesting and appealing. So in order to do that, I'm going to introduce you to this little button here, which opens the modeling toolkit, which is something that Autodesk have added to Maya 2016 to put a lot of the polygon modeling tools together in one place, which works quite well, actually. So if we click on that, the first thing we're going to want to do is change it from object selection mode, which allows you to select the whole object. I'm going to change it to edge selection mode, which is going to allow us to select just the edges. There it is. You can see now if we mouse over the pillar, the edges go red when we can select them. So I'm going to click on this one. And then I'm going to shift, hold shift and click on the second one. And that will select two of them. I'm going to go back to my um, selection tool, which is Q on the keyboard. So I've now got those two selected. And then I can scroll down in the modeling toolkit. And you'll see there are lots of different tools and operations that you can do. Uh, but in this case, I just want to do a bevel. So I'm going to click on bevel. And you'll notice that it opens up a little um, properties box. So you can change what the bevel looks like. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so I can see what the bevel is. And I'm just going to up the fraction by clicking and dragging on the word fraction. I'm going to up it slightly. I think I'm going to go for 0.7. I think it looks pretty good. Like that. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And then, once I'm happy with that, the next thing I'm going to do is I just want to select these edges at the bottom. So there are three edges here that I want to select. That one, and I'm going to hold shift and select that one. I'm going to hold shift and select that one. I'm just going to put it back into wireframe view, pressing forward, just to make sure I've actually got them, because it's intersecting the floor a little bit, which is making it difficult to see. And with those three edges selected, I'm just going to move to my move tool, and change to my move tool. And I'm going to move on this axis here. And you can see that's adding a bit of a slope to the shape. And again, I'm just doing that to make it look a little bit more interesting, really. And I'm going to press 5 to move back into shaded view. And then in my modeling toolkit, I'm going to scroll back up and put the pillar back into object selection mode. And then I can move this up against the back wall. I'm just going to interse intersect the back wall slightly. And then I'm going to move towards the back wall, not completely up against the back wall, I want a little gap. That's okay, and I'm just, final step, is I'm just going to make it a little bit taller, just so it does intersect the floor and the ceiling, just so that you can't see where it joins, really. So from inside the room, it should now look like that, which just adds a little bit more detail to the, the way the room looks.